Hello and welcome to WJTS Inform. Big event coming up in Ferdinand this weekend. It is the Ferdinand Hyman Fest. And joining me in the studio is Sue Fink. Now, Sue is here not to represent the Hyman Fest as much as she has maybe in the past. Sue uh, and her Brian and her husband Brian and Angie Sefernick and her husband Brian have been named the ambassadors for the Ferdinand Hyman yes. Fest. Sue, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. What does it mean for you and Angie to be named ambassadors? It really took us both by surprise. We had no clue that they were going to, you know, even do this. Mm -hmm. That um, there was a lot, of, a lot of going on about. Uh, we might not do one, and I think that's why they said that, just to surprise us. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, the, the ambassador is someone who um, talks about the, the fest and goes out and just kind of promotes the fest, but really that's something you and Angie have done for years because yes. uh, tell me the history of, of how you and Angie are involved in the Hyman Fest. Actually, I was co-chair with a couple of other people, Flip Recommended and Sue Moore, back in 2004, and then Angie came on as a... Um, with the co-ed softball team, and they wanted to do a booth, and and uh, with that she started in doing brochures, and one thing led to another, and then she became a co-chair, and and uh, so for the last six years we've been co-chair, and things have worked out wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it has been a great Ferdinheim fest, yes. and, and now we are we're really leading into uh, the Ferdinand 175th celebration, mm -hmm. which is not this year, mm -hmm. but will be next year, 2015, mm -hmm. around the same weekend. Of course, it's a, a week-long mm -hmm. uh, festival of activities. Um, but this year's Ferdinand Hyman Fest, there are some significant events in, in that Ferdinand Farmers Mutual is sponsoring a free concert yes. to help drum up money for the Ferdinand 175th mm -hmm. and for the mm -hmm. Ferdinand Farmers Mutual to mm -hmm. celebrate 150 years uh, in business <laughs> in Ferdinand. Right. Um, and that's pretty significant to have a free concert. It is, very yeah. much so. <laughs> yeah, and that's both, there is free m m entertainment both Friday and Saturday. Yes, okay. yes. Let's talk about, because you're the ambassador, so you need to ambassadize, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why, I, I just made a word up. There you go. Let's talk about the Ferdinand Heim events. What, it, it starts this Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the significant events? Um, on Friday night, we have a new contest. It's the homebrew contest, which um, I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to since a lot of people have started making their own homebrew, you know, with the microbreweries and, and such. And, and then, of course, there's the flower judging contest and the bake-off contest. And all these, you can still enter. You know, if you haven't yet, you still can. Right. Uh, the water ball contest, uh, well, your cornhole contest is also on Friday night. Right. And so those are some of the bigger highlights for uh, Friday evening. And then on Saturday, starting early in the morning, the guys will be out there with their barbecue. Uh, pits and cookers and whatever else they have and of course the 5k walk run starts and then we do um, like K uh, Shelby said earlier there's the volleyball there's horseshoes we also have something new on Friday it's the our Saturday I'm sorry is the Pinewood Derby contest Boy Scouts Boy Scouts yeah. yes and that starts like three in the afternoon in the ball field actually and really, almost all of these things you're talking about, um, you, except maybe the homebrew, you don't have to pre-register. Do you have to? Can you just show up uh, with the homebrew? Or I, th I think that uh, one you, you that one you I think yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But for the right. most part, right. like the cornhole, um, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you can just show up and right. enter. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And yeah. And there is, now there's <laughs> entertainment. I know Friday night, uh, Linda Smith, right. and followed by the Green Room Rockers, yes. Yes. which features uh, Perry Clark, right, who is a Forest Park graduate. Yes. <laughs> uh, and that's Friday night. And, and is that in a beer, is that in the beer garden, or is that in an area where everybody can enjoy it? That's in the area where everybody can okay. enjoy it, yes. yes. And then on Saturday night, uh, uh, there are Carly Ed. Edging, edging yes. will be performing, mm -hmm. uh, and then the Kentucky Headhunters, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and that's a, a free concert. It's yes. free to see yes. the Kentucky yes. Headhunters, thanks yes. to Further Farmers Mutual. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we uh, appreciate that. <laughs> why, why should people come to the Ferdinand Hyman Fest? There's a blue million festivals that go on, and people, oh, yeah. now there are people who enjoy just going fest to fest to fest because of the food for different reasons. Yes. But why, why come to the Ferdinand Hyman Fest? It seems like people do come home again, mm -hmm. you know, you see um, classmates that you hadn't seen in years. Uh, it's just it's just a good way to get together again. We, you know, even people from town that you haven't seen for a while, you right. see again because they come out and want to enjoy what the town is, you know, doing, what is going on in town. Because there's always something going on in town. And the Ferdinand Hyatt Fest is held at the 18th Street Park, 
which is on the north edge of town, easy to get to. Actually, mm -hmm. you'll just see cars parked everywhere. Yes, for you will. Part. <laughs> now, you may have to park that may be a, a problem, but okay, yeah. we'll deal with it. <laughs> and, and there is something that is new: the Ferdinand Community Center mm -hmm. is going to be serving fried chicken dinners on Saturday night. Yes, from four to eight. Yes, in air conditioning. Yes, that's probably a yes. key. Yes, yeah. yes, um, it's in conjunction with catering by Meyer and um, Ferdinand Processing, mm -hmm. and they're actually doing fried chicken, beef brisket, vegetarian lasagna and smoked pork chops. Wow. Yeah, so you've what got a choice. a choice. In the same way with the sides, there's gonna be like four different sides that you can pick from. Uh, and, and that's just some of the food, because I know there's <laughs> hamburgers and there's you know all of those things that are served as well. Uh, and you will need a button for some events. Uh, there right is a now it's just button. the beer garden. Just, and, the, and the barbecue. Yes. If you want to sample yes, barbecue. Yes. Yeah, okay. if you want to sample the barbecue, you will need uh, to have a button. Okay, and to, but to get in the beer garden, mm -hmm, you need a $5 mm -hmm, button. Mm -hmm, but to enjoy mm -hmm. the concert, you just sit out. You just sit should out they, Should folks bring their lawn chairs? Yes, lawn chairs, blankets. Okay. Go for it, yeah. Make, make yourselves at home. <laughs> exactly. Now, you have been uh, involved with the Ferdinand Heimat Fest for how many years? Oh, a bunch. 16. Okay. <laughs> and for the past few years, there have been ambassadors, of which you are one. What's the history of the ambassadors? Why did that start? Actually, when we started with parades, we decided we weren't going to do a parade every year. We decided every five years. So in between, we still wanted to honor somebody. And so we started up with the ambassadors. And some of the past ambassadors were Rich Helming and Ed and Betty Rose and uh, Judy and Jim Hagedarn and uh, G, G, I can't even talk now, <laughs> Lee and Jenny Bagley, sorry. <laughs> right, and now you are, are, you and Angie are ambassadors with your husbands, Brian yes. and Brian. Yes. Uh, <laughs> now, what for you uh, as being a part of the uh, Ferdinand Heimat Fest, for you and Angie, I guess, has, has been the best part of being involved? Sundays. <laughs> Sunday when it's all over? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, you mean the Sunday before. No, no. So, no. But you know what, really, uh, uh, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of it work does. by a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. Uh, to put that together. Now, mm -hmm. since we're leading up to the Ferdinand 175th mm -hmm. next year, mm -hmm. uh, whilst you're still on the committee, it's a different committee than it has been in the past yes. few years. Yes, yes. Um, to to kind of keep things going in mm -hmm. a different, uh, not not. Uh, not that you were doing it wrong, but in a different direction. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, I, I guess just to maybe give you a little relief. Yeah. Uh, you're going to keep being involved? Uh, yes, I am. I no, hope one so. way or the other, yeah. Yeah, because you be know, at, at almost all the meetings, whenever there's a meeting, everybody turns and goes, Sue, what did we do? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sue, thank you very much for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. Our guest has been <laughs> Sue Fink. She, along with Angie Sefernick and their husbands, Brian and Brian, uh, are the ambassadors for the Ferdinand Heimat Fest this year. And remember, the Ferdinand Heimat Fest is this Friday and Saturday. See you in Ferdinand for all the fun. And the Kentucky Headhunters will be performing for a free concert concert on Saturday night. Thank you for watching WJTS Inform. We are local people watching local people.